You're gonna regret this! Are you okay?
Big bro... I mean, I see that the Chosen is his usual self, wandering around aimlessly. Yo, Celeste! I need that Crucius Crystal I left with you. Give it back to me. As you wish. After all, it rightfully belongs to the Chosen. Yep. Now, if your business here is done, I humbly request that you leave. Immediately. All right, all right. Guess I'm as unpopular as ever. Poor me. Wait, big bro. Hmm? What is it, my darling little sister? N nothing. Oh, all right then. Please take care. He couldn't hear that, you know. I didn't say anything. So it doesn't matter if my big brother couldn't hear it. Aha! You called him Big Brother! No, I didn't. There's no way I'd have a brother like that. Now please leave. Well, what do you think? I'm well loved, aren't I? She's certainly not very friendly. Don't be too hard on her. She was sickly ever since she was a kid. But despite that, her mother... Ah, oh, never mind. As you left, she said, please take care. Oh. Well, anyway, we're ready now, right? On to the Tower of Salvation. Yeah.
Coming here reminds me of my journey to regenerate the world. But this time we're here to cure your illness. I'm curious to see what the design of Tethayala's Tower of Salvation is like. Now, Zelos, open the door, quickly! You know, you can get really scary sometimes. Oh, yeah! Check me out! It's my time to shine! Do I look like a Chosen or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get going. <laughs> Roger. That's a very disturbing laugh. Zelos, is something wrong? What? You're even more... Um, even more obnoxious than usual? Nah, he's always like this. Just ignore him. <laughs> She's pretty sharp. Such a sad place. Wait a minute. Is this really Tetheala? Yeah. It looks identical to Silveron's Tower of Salvation. My body... I can't stop shaking. This is the same place. It can't be. Lloyd, remember this? That's... Wait, I broke that! The two worlds are connected here. Of course, it's the same place. Kratos, it's you again. Who are you really? Are you really one of Mythos's companions from 4,000 years ago? Good. Since you figured that out, it saves me the time to explain. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martel. You're still trying to do that? Are you so intent on resurrecting Martel that you're willing to distort the entire world in the process? I have no need to explain. So in the end, you really are our enemy. I kept thinking, hoping that you might be good, but you're not. I should think that would be obvious at this point. Don't hold back this time! I hope you improved. Take this! Judgment! Lightning! 
Shooting blade. Power oh, seal. Circle. Eruption. Here we go. Fireball. Photon. Demon fang. Fire seal. Demon. Ready. Never lose to you. I would advise against resisting, for there will be no mercy this time. Are we still alive? Well, looks like we'll have our lives at least until they finish preparing Colette's treatment. Apparently she's useless the way she is now. Maybe we were tricked. He had us gather the materials to treat Colette. And then had us bring her here. That sure saved them a lot of time and effort. Kratos used us? Did he betray us again? Lloyd. I feel guilty for letting this happen to Colette and the others. I really want to know why I keep getting captured and getting thrown into jail all the time. You sure you haven't been doing anything to deserve it? We should just be glad we have our lives. Well, yeah. Damn it! This thing's built solid as a rock! And I can't... open the lock, either! <sighs> Same here. It won't budge at all. Can Colette or Perseo break it? Nope. I'm sorry I couldn't be of use. So, we're completely trapped. Move. Wh whoa How did you do that? I originally specialized in fighting with my hands, not my feet. And since X-Spheres amplify their users' abilities far above their maximum limits, this result is to be expected. Then why don't you just fight with your hands? I swore I would never fight with these hands again. This time, I use them in order to save you, Lloyd. You're going to unite the worlds and save Colette, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, everybody grab what you can and let's get out of here.
angels! We're gonna get caught if we keep wandering around here. You're right. We'll pretend to be Colette's prisoners. She should be fine because she's an angel. Okay. Please have a fragment of mana? Fragments of mana are no longer being distributed. Return to your area. You won't give us one? A human? These are the subjects needed for the Crucius Crystal Research. High Exphere Research? I see. Now that you mention it, I've heard that research involving humans were being conducted. Yes, exactly. And we require a fragment of mana for that purpose. Understood. Then please show me your identification. Do we need that? Of course. Lord Kratos! We need a fragment of mana for the ritual of the Chosen. I've sent a courier over to pick it up. Understood? Yeah, that! That's us! Are you saying you're Lord Kratos' couriers? Uh, yeah! Silence, human! We're with Kratos. But just a moment ago, you said you were going to use it for high Xphere research. That's right. And it just so happens that it's also needed in the ritual, so we came to retrieve it. Please hurry. But without identification. Besides, you seem to be of the Desion class, and have humans among you. While you're complaining about these little nitpicky details, 
You're keeping Yggdrasil waiting. Do you want to take him off? That's right. Lord Yggdrasil is scary if you cross him. Um... All right. Make sure you get it to them.
not much of a specimen. Disappointing. Not much of a specimen. Ready? Disappointing. warming up. Gonna be a piece of cake. Light photon. Rush force seal. Get him! Gravity well. That was disappointing. A world of hurt.
that was disappointing. Gonna be a piece of cake. Ah, no way, here we go. Fireball. Photon. Demon Fang. Fire Seal. No way. Power to fight Demon Fang. I'm ready. No way. Black Mike. Too bad. Fierce Demon Rising Falcon Ray. Oh. Over already? You're in for a world of hurt! Just as I expected. Not much of a specimen. A world of hurt. Bother me. Ready? Ray. Demon. Want a charge? Thunder blade. Force seal. No way. On the way. Healing circle. Fire seal. Don't bother me. All right.
This is the sword Yggdrasil struck me with. Could this be the Eternal Sword? <laughs> no way! Nobody'd leave a sword that important in a place like this. How about we take it to Heimdall and show it to the Elder? Good idea! That way we'd know for sure! You have not the right. Ow! What happened? A waste of effort. You Drassiel. The Eternal Sword cannot be touched by those who lack the right. The right? He must be talking about the Pact with Origin! That's the sword Yggdrasil tricked Origin into giving him! <laughs> you really are a pathetic bunch. It matters not. Origin is under Kratos' seal. Either way, it is impossible for you to wield that sword. And without the power of the Eternal Sword, you cannot reunite the worlds. Your journey is futile. Futile? You're the one who's making futile attempts to bring back the dead! Besides, what does splitting the world in two even have to do with that? The worlds still exist only because they were separated into two. No. It's because of being split in two that there's not enough mana, and countless people are suffering! Think for a moment. Why is there a shortage of mana? Well, what do you think, my fellow kinsmen? Me? Um, because the development of Magi technology resulted in a large consumption of mana? Yes, and that Magi technology led to a great war. War consumes an abhorrent amount of mana. Don't change the subject. There's a mana shortage because you won't let the Great Seed germinate. I am not changing the subject. Even if the giant tree were to be revived, another war would make it wither and die. Wars are caused by two opposing forces. That is why I split the world in two. To isolate the powers that caused that foolish Carlon War. Into the worlds of Silverant and Tetheala. By alternating between prosperity and dearth, the development of Magi technology is subdued. So that was your plan. Although at the moment, Tetheala has prospered for a little too long. You're lying. You're sacrificing the Great Seed just to save Martell. That's right. The same way you abandoned the declining world of Silverant in order to save Colette. That's... Uh... What you're doing is exactly the same. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not! Lloyd isn't like you! What? Lloyd is looking for a way to save both Colette and the world! You're a coward who gave up! It is the same thing. I am trying to create a world without discrimination. 
That is the way to save the world. A world without discrimination? That's... People fear and hate what is not normal. They are scared of those that are different. Then the solution is for everyone to become the same. By using the X-Spheres to eliminate the different bloods that flow through elves and humans. Everyone on this earth will become the same lifeless beings. Discrimination will vanish. That is the grand age I strive for. Everyone? The same? Yes, Desions and Crucius both exist for this purpose. The conflicts between the races born from discrimination will disappear, Genus. People will stop treating us differently? Really? Genus! Don't fall for it. Think about how the X-Spheres are made. They're made at the cost of people's lives, like marble. Don't you see what's wrong with that? With revolution comes sacrifice. If you cannot understand that, then you deserve to die with the others. However, first, you'll hand over the Chosen. No, I won't let you! You have no choice. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Die! <laughs> Holy Lance! <laughs> That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> One of us, but you shall pay for your treachery. Why? L Lord Yggdrasil. Pronima, why are you here? Sir, a uh, new activity in regards to that certain matter has... Understood. Not always is there a way to save everyone. Remember that. Lloyd, the path you seek is nothing but an illusion. Why did he let us go? It can't. 
can't be. It can't be. What's wrong, Genus? N nothing. Lloyd, we must treat Colette as quickly as possible. Right. Let's head back for now.
<clears throat> My body! I can't move! Do you want to meet your father? Huh? What have you done with my dad? Kratos? The Renegades and Crucius are enemies, aren't they? So why... Quiet. Of course, the drug should have everyone sleeping soundly. Drug? Where's my dad? If you've done anything to my dad... I'll tear every last one of you to pieces! Now, now, is that the way to act when you're about to meet your father for the first time? So it was you. You were the assassin who tried to kill me at Hyma. Kratos, if you value your son's life at all, do as we say. What are you talking about? Release Origin Seal. Otherwise... Lloyd will die right here. No. Kratos can't be my dad. I, I can't believe that. I won't believe that. How does it feel to have your own son reject you like that? Hmm. <laughs> I'd guess from your attitude, you don't plan on releasing Origin. If that's the way it's going to be, then you'll just have to die. Uh! One move and your son dies. You changed once you got a family. Just like that time 15 years ago, when Anna was transformed into a monster, you lost your ability to fight back. What? If she hadn't been together with you, she would have never turned out like that. Such an unfortunate woman. Don't mock my mom! Kratos? Are you alright? Good. Lloyd, what's wrong? What's going on? What am I... what am I supposed to believe? Lloyd, calm down. It's not true. Kratos can't be... the man who betrayed us and made you suffer. He couldn't possibly be... my dad. Lloyd, don't lose sight of who you are. No matter who your parents are, no matter your background, you're still you. I'm... me? You're the one who told me that no matter what I look like, even if I become an angel, I'm still me. And don't forget, Grotto saved you. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. But I still can't call you Dad. Lloyd. I hate what you... what Crucius does. Too many people have died. People from Silveron, people from Tetheala, to Zions and Renegades and members of Crucius. 
They're all victims. I refuse to accept the idea that it's okay to sacrifice people for a cause. It's not okay to lose any life. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying. I won't sacrifice the world to save Colette. I'm not giving up until I find a way for everyone to live. Wow, that was an amazingly corny speech. Congratulations! Mythos? Did you think I didn't notice what was going on? How pathetic. Since it seemed he was leaking information to Lloyd's group. Since it seemed he was leaking information to Lloyd's group. Damn it! You dress seal! How the hell did you find out? What? That was a pretty amusing scheme you had going. Hard to believe those filthy renegades that were always getting in my way were actually led by you. If it weren't for my sister's wishes to spare your life, I'd kill you right now. <laughs> Stop it! What are you... What's going on? Mythos! So it's true. What's true? That you shouldn't have trusted me? Good guess, Genus. Because I didn't trust you either. <gasps> Mythos saved me. Shut up! Mythos saved... How could you do that? You even risked your life to save her! Mythos, why? Why are you doing this? How could you hurt Tabitha and Altessa? You got along so well with them! Tabitha... That doll looks so disturbingly like my sister. I never could stand her. She's a failed vessel who couldn't accept my sister's soul. Just looking at her makes me sick. You little bastard! How dare you betray my best friend! Lloyd, stop! Please, you're both my friends! <gasps> Lord Yggdrasil, your wounds are not yet healed. Please, lead this to the angels. All right. Out of the way! You're in for a world of hurt. Just warming up. No life should be born for the sole purpose of dying? What do you think those extras are that you're using?
Who is it? Come on in! Lloyd, did I wake you? It's snowing outside. I was wondering why it was so cold. Yeah, it's really cold! You sure sound happy. Yeah, I mean, I can actually tell it's cold. I'm so happy! That's right. You couldn't feel things like that just a little while ago, huh? Say, Lloyd, if you don't mind the cold, do you want to go for a little walk? Sure. 
Look, look! You can see out over the city! It's so beautiful! Yeah. Lloyd, do you remember what Krato said? What was it? He said we can throw the x spheres away at any time. But right now, we need to carry the burden of the hopes and dreams of the victims and fight on their behalf. Oh, uh, that, that was when we saw x spheres being made at the Human Ranch in Silverant. He was talking about your mother, wasn't he? But he works willingly for the boss of the guy responsible for turning my mom into a monster. I don't think that's true. Krato saved us over and over again. And he protected you too, Lloyd. Yeah, but... And so, I'm sure he cares about both you and your mother. He's a wonderful father, don't you think? Is that why you brought me out here? To tell me that? Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess that was part of it. Thanks, but it's okay. I'm not really shocked about the fact that he's my father anymore. But... Origin seal? I'm sorry for bringing it up. But if he unleashes all the mana from his body, then not even he could... I know. No one knows if he'll survive or not. And that's why we need to find a way to release Origin without Kratos losing his life. Just like the way you saved me. Colette? I'm sure everyone will understand, okay? Please? Thanks, Colette. But I look at it this way. Kratos has his reasons for siding with Mythos. And I want to hear what those are. Anything else I do is going to wait until after that. You're going, aren't you? To Daris Carlon. Yeah. I plan to go after we check on Altessa's condition tomorrow. I don't agree with Mythos's vision. I have to prevent it from happening. I'm going to fight him. Is it okay if I come a little closer? Um, sure. I don't want to see this beautiful scenery ruin the way Silverant was. I won't let that happen. This time, we're going to protect it, right? Yeah. Do you know the Seventh Dwarven Val? one you hate the most, right? Goodness and love will always win. I really hope that's true. Are you worried? Then... What's this? It's a charm. A Flanor Snow Bunny. They say it brings good luck. I had them take one to Altessa earlier. And this one's for you. Thanks. Lloyd, we're all with you. Now that you have a charm, too, everything will work out okay. Yeah, you're right. Guys, how's Altessa? Well, he managed to pull through. Some dudes from Mizuho were hanging out there to guard him, so everything is alright. 
Good. I need to speak with everyone. The world is never going to change if we just wait for Crucius to make the next move, right? So this time, we're going to strike them first. Well, so you're finally ready to do it. We're going to raid Crucius. Yeah, I have two objectives. Prevent the establishment of Mythos's New Age and release Origin. But if you release Origin, what about Kratos? I don't really know yet. We don't know for certain that he'll actually die. We also don't know if he'll side with us or not. We don't have the time to worry about things we're not sure of. What do you intend to do about the Eternal Sword? Even if you break Origin's seal, you can't wield it, remember? And I doubt either Genus or I would be able to handle a sword. Don't worry about that. I've got it covered. What are you talking about? Why do you think I can use magic swords? I received magic injections with the latest in Tetheala technology. In other words, I'm a human with elven blood in me. That should work, shouldn't it? Then I guess this will be the final battle. Understood. Let us end this. For the sake of uniting the worlds. Yeah. I'll do my best, too. Colette, I need you to stay behind. Why? They want you as Martel's vessel. We'll have either Mizuho or the Renegades hide you. If... That's... No, I'm going to! But... <laughs> I get it. You don't think you can protect her. That is so sad. What did you say? Don't worry, Colette. I, the great Zealous, swear to protect you. Zealous! Take her along, Lloyd. They're gonna be after her no matter where she is. You ought to know that by now. Be a man! Show her what you're made of! Wow. We actually have the same opinion for once. Sorry, Lloyd, but I agree with Zealous this time. Alright. Colette will come with us, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. And everyone else, too. Does Ted Thayala really have a technology like that? It sure does, for some weird reason. All right, let's go kick some Crucius butt, Lloyd. Zelos, I trust you. What? What are you talking about? Well, of course I can understand that you're counting on me. Just place your faith in me! Faith, huh? I hope so. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go!